Hello and welcome Pixels! You're doing a new prop or character? Modeling, UV layout and textures are done? Ready to export? Just wait a minute! In this episode I want to talk about how to tidy up your 3D object before you export and import it to a specific game engine like Unity. You can possibly make many mistakes which leads to problems in game engine and maybe you will get troubles with your teammates as well. So 3D artists should always care about a well prepared 3D object. I will show you my 5 steps for preparing the export. If I forget anything or you have further suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. I'm a little bit in conflict with myself. The question is where to start this episode because there could be so much to care about. Some steps should be clear for everyone and some steps are not really necessary to do like deleting unused materials, accept used modifiers if you've worked with some of them, or just simplify mesh geometry which is not always necessary for your object. As well it depends on every specific 3D object if there are parts which should stay separated and others which should be merged. So this is always different depending on your case. So this is just what I want to mention here. But let's start with the really necessary stuff now. One of the first things I learned as a game designer is M guns are bad. Always wipe them out. For all newbies, what is an N gun? An N gun is a face with more than 4 vertices or sides. Game objects should always have quads or triangles. But never N guns, which leads to shading bugs and wrong behavior of animations. So we need to find them and purge them. You have to be in edit mode and I prefer to switch to face selection mode. Go to Select, select all by trade, faces by sides. You will get an amount of selected faces and this little edit box here. If not, then everything is fine. But if so, raise the number of vertices to 5, 6 or more and check out all the end guns which have to be fixed. If you watched my previous videos, you already know this one. Merge vertices by distance is the new name for remove doubles like it was in Blender 2.79. While modeling it may happen that you extrude or duplicate vertices and forget to dissolve them. This doubled vertices can also lead to shading problems. So I'm here in edit mode now. Vertice selection mode. Select all with A and do and right click to call up the vertex context menu. Go to merge vertices and select by distance. You can do the same by pressing alt plus M for the merge menu. Merge distance should be zero or a very low value if the vertices are slightly askewed. You will get an information in this row here how many vertices were merged. Or you prefer this word removed. If you dissolved zero vertices everything is perfect. If you are not working with the function backface culling here in the viewport shading settings, then you maybe don't know that you have wrong face normals. Game engine or materials usually work with face normals and only one side should be rendered. It is way more complex for the performance to render both sides. So the view on the other side can be ignored for rendering and performance issues. So you need to keep an eye on face normals. Backface culling is already a good way to prevent this because with this option the other side will be not rendered in Blender as well. However, this is not the method I am talking about. Blender 2.8 is able to colorize the face orientation of your 3D object. The correct and visible side in a blue tint and the other side which will not be visible in game engine in a red tint. But only if you disable backface culling. 
If you found somewhere a wrong orientation, just select the face or faces, go here to mesh, normals and flip it or them. Maybe you saw it already in the settings panel, you are able to just press Alt plus N for normals panel. The origin of your 3D object is very important. If it is not correct, it is really annoying to place your 3D object in game engine. Every game object have a own origin. Especially this is important for characters and props. While modeling and merging objects, it may happen that your origin is not on the correct position at the end. In most cases, the origin should be on the ground on 0, 0, 0 position. This 3D geometry should be above this origin so that you can place it later in game engine perfectly. If your origin is already on zero position and your geometry not, switch to edit mode, select all and move your vertices above the origin. Switch back to object mode and everything is fine. It is very important to where you place this 3D cursor if your 3D geometry is already placed well but your origin is off. Bring this 3D cursor to zero again. You have to be in object mode. Do and right click and call up the object context menu. Go to set origin, origin to 3D cursor and you saved your life. The last preparation before exporting is the apply function. Your values have to be clean if you want to work with rotation and scale in your game engine. Rotation have to be 0 and scale have to be 1. You have to fix it if they are not. Otherwise you will get very strange results in game engine and the behavior will be uncontrollable. To do this you have to be in object mode. Press Ctrl plus A to call up the apply menu or go to object apply. Now select rotation and scale and it's done. For sure your 3D object should be already on the correct place and every earlier step of this video tutorial should be done before. This should be really the last step of your preparations. You should have a well prepared 3D object now. For export, just select your object, go to File, Export, FBX, but this will be not part of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!